this video, I will show you uh, how to expand volume of KubeDB provision MariaDB. So before starting, before deploying the MariaDB cluster, uh, we are going to check the available storage class uh, in this Kubernetes cluster. So let's check the storage classes. So here we have two storage classes. Uh, one is standard and other is tuple VM provisional. So uh, here we can see the volume expansion field topple VM provisioner has true and standard has false. Uh, that means uh, the standard storage class does not provide the support of allow volume expansion. So in this demo, uh, I am going to use the topple VM provisioner as we are going to expand the volume. So let's deploy a sample MariaDB cluster. And if we check the YAML file of the deploy uh, MariaDB, we can see uh, here the replica is three. That means we want a cluster of three nodes and the version of MariaDB is 10.5.8. And most importantly, the storage class name is here topple VM provisioner. So for using volume expansion, uh, we need a storage class that's supports the expansion of volume and uh, here in the resource section we can uh, we are expecting a storage uh, so we are expecting a storage of one gigabyte in this MariaDB cluster so the storage request is one gigabyte so let's wait until the database become online ready status While the database become ready, uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to show you the volume expansion of request YAML. So uh, this is the volume expansion of request YAML. Uh, this the IP version of this of request is observedqtb.com slash v1 alpha one. And kind is MariaDB of request. We are naming this volume expansion. We are naming this of request as volume expansion zero one. And the obsequious type is volume expansion. And in the database reference section, we are going to provide the MariaDB object name that is sample MariaDB. And in the volume expansion, we are providing two fields. Uh, the one is MariaDB two gigabyte. That means we are expecting the size of expanded volume is two gigabyte. So previously we had one, uh, currently we have one gigabyte and we are expecting a MariaDB of two gigabyte. And the mode online means the expansion will run on the fly of database. Uh, there is no, there will be no downtime of the database. But some provision, uh, some storage class do not provide online volume expansion. So on that case, we use offline volume expansion. For example, Longhorn does not support online volume expansion. So we use on that case, offline volume expansion. Well, uh, here we can see the database is in ready state. Now we're going to apply volume expansion, but before applying the volume expansion, let's check out the PVCs here. So here we have three nodes for three nodes, for each node, there is a one PVC of capacity one gigabyte as we have provided in the database YAML. Uh, so now we are going to expand this capacity into two gigabyte by applying the volume expansion of request. Uh, we can see the volume expansion of request is created and that is, is in progressing state. And in the meanwhile, we'd like to watch the PVC. So uh, here is the PVC. I, you can see the capacity for the first node is two gigabyte and uh, one by one, uh, every node will expand its capacity.
now we can see uh, we have three nodes so which has the capacity of two gigabyte that we are expecting and also provided in the ops request and the mariadb ops request is, is also successful and the database status is ready that means our ops request is successful and database is in ready state uh, so that's how we expand the volume of kubedb provision mariadb using volume expansion depending on the storage class we use either online or offline volume expansion